Hi, I'm Andres Rich. I'm one of the REIs here at Reproductive Medicine Associates of New Jersey. I'm originally from Valencia, Spain. I went to medical school in Poland. And then after that, I came to the United States. I did some research here in reproductive medicine at Yale University. I stayed there for residency. And then after that, I came for a fellowship to Reproductive Medicine Associates of New Jersey. And I loved it here, so I stayed on. I speak three languages natively, Spanish, English, and Valencian or Catalan. I can also speak a little bit of Italian, a little bit of French, and a little bit of Polish. What led me to specialize in reproductive medicine, in my case, it was really a family trade. My mom is a reproductive medicine specialist, so is most of the rest of my family. So for me, it was very common, kind of at the dinner table when I was a kid, to just learn a lot. Then I had my own children. And then I, I, it really drove it home to me how important this dream was for patients. I think the untold story of infertility is how much it has changed. We've seen in the very recent past, in just 20 or 30 years, which is yesterday for any other field of medicine, how we've gone from success rates that were dismal, that were kind of a Hail Mary in the best case scenario, to really going to almost expected success. In, in many countries in Europe and even actually in some states in the United States, babies born from IVF account for about 10% of the babies born last year, which means that basically every child or every person we're going to meet 10, 15 years from now, one out of 10 is actually gonna be born out of IVF. So the impact in population itself and society is very large. In many fields in medicine, discovery takes a long, long time. And in reproductive medicine, it's advanced so quickly that you know, we, we've become very used to implementing new things very quickly, changing the way we think all the time. And personally, as somebody who's very involved in, in research and in science and is very curious about the biologic mechanisms and the whys of what we do, knowing that we can actually have an impact on so, so many patients by working on research and science and discovery to me, that's the most inspiring part of our field. I really want our patients to know that we really care. I know it, it comes as a kind of a cliche that we offer compassionate care, everybody says that. In reality, we, we really do. We really work very, very hard in every single little tiny detail. We put countless hours, both at work and at home actually, to stay abreast of the latest information, to develop some of the latest information through our own research. We really, really put every single ounce of effort that we can to really make sure that they get where they need to be.